Hello everyone, my name is Dory Liu and my mentor is Gabriel. I'm interested in the effects of new media such as the internet and social media and its effects on communities. I'm presenting from Peachtree Corners, Georgia. This is my home and where I conducted my research. This town is relatively new, established in 2012. It is extremely diverse and focuses on heavily on technology and innovation, which makes it an ideal re representation of the relationship between new media and social capital. My study on those specific relationships within my city contributes to the ongoing debate about internet-based communities and establishes a city-specific case of how the internet might impact social capital. Some of the key terms I will be using are on the next slides. First, new media refers to means of communication like means of communication through new technology like social media or the internet. Next is social capital. Social capital is the network of relationships among individuals that provide resources, companionship, and information within a community. Participatory capital, which is simply participation, falls under social capital. Finally, pervasive awareness refers to the heightened awareness of events due to the visibility provided by the internet, such as being able to receive information quickly through the internet. The creation of the internet and its potential impacts on community and social capital have been a highly debated topic across existing literature. The two main positions are, some scholars believe that media consumption has decreased social capital due to decreased social support and community commitment. However, other scholars argue that the internet has increased community engagement and therefore social capital. My investigation analyzes the possible effects of new media on social capital within communities, such as the effects on participation, support, etc., specifically in the city of Peachtree Corners. I conducted my research through two structured interviews with the main communications directors and leaders within the city of Peachtree Corners. I also conducted a qualitative informal survey among a diver diverse selection of community members in the city of Peachtree Corners who are participating in a community event to measure the effects of new media on, social cap on participatory capital. I gathered key concepts and ideas from both methods of qualitative research to come to a conclusion. The facilitation of information sharing through the introduction of new media and pervasive awareness has undoubtedly impacted communities, but the question is how? How does new media influence community participation? Well, findings from the interviews and survey I conducted suggest that new media is employed in Peachtree Corners to increase participation within the community through pervasive awareness, as shown in the model. For example, in one of the interviews, it was stated that a city partnership with a large news network based in the Atlanta metropolitan area was extremely successful and increased participation in community concerts. Additionally, the qualitative survey showed that 7 out of 10 people surveyed found out about the event through new media, either Instagram, Facebook, or the city website. The constant updates and advertisements put on various social medias by the Peachtree Corner Council resulted in an increase in attendance, which is in line with the idea of pervasive awareness. Another question answered was how might the internet-based interactions and communities influence general community commitment, participation, and relationships? Findings portray that community members use forms of new media to foster and strengthen relationships within a community and therefore increases social support and community commitment. In one of the interviews, it was stated that local magazines, a local magazine supports events and groups that lack funding through online and print advertisements, which relates to how one group can use new media to help another, strengthening those social ties within the community and therefore facilitating network capital. In the qualitative survey, three out of 10 of those surveyed said it was their first time at a town center event. And out of those three, two found out about the event through social media. This reflects the impact of advertising through new media like social media. Technology is constantly evolving and may help the formation and facilitation of community relationships. Within, with my research, I discovered that new media can be employed in cities like Peachtree Corners to increase community participation, foster and strengthen relationships, and therefore increase social support and community commitment. The city-specific case 
delves into the relationship between new media and network capital in an innovative and diverse community, which is valuable to the overall study of the effects of rapidly changing technology. However, because this is a city-specific case, the results of this analysis cannot be extended to all communities around the world, even if it is a diverse city. As a result, there are many factors that can be further explored. Future work might benefit from observing differences among communities where digital inequalities, inequalities are abundant and in areas with differing socioeconomic characteristics. And as always, technology is continuously evolving and will not stop in the near future. So impacts and influences of new media on communities and community relationships need to be continuously monitored as new methods of using new media are developed. Thank you.